Shout out to Z Wilson on Patreon for his first month of support. Get weekly goods, tutorial files, mockups, templates, items in my store, and more, as well as supporting the free tutorials on this channel. Check out my Patreon in the description below. What's up guys, Quezzy or Noah here bringing you guys another tutorial. Today I'm in After Effects showing you this cool flame effect you can do. Uh, and you can use this for a lot of things. I used it for like a little intro and like a transition. I'm also gonna be using it for a Twitch animated alert. Uh, but there's tons of things you could use it for. Today I'm gonna be showing you just how to create the effect. And then a few weeks from now, I'm gonna be showing you a full um, animation using the effect. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna be a little intro or uh, like an animated alert or what exactly it will be. Uh, but in today's tutorial, I'm just just going to be showing you the effect. So hopefully you guys enjoy. If you do, please leave a like on the video. At 100 likes, I'll actually post this project file uh, in the description. It has like a transition and an intro. Uh, you can also download this now as a $5 tier member on my Patreon. Also, if you enjoy, be sure to subscribe. You don't want to miss out on the tutorial covering the full animation using this effect or my other tutorials. I come out with weekly tutorials and you might as well subscribe because you don't want to miss out on something you might want to learn and you can always unsubscribe later on. But let's go ahead and get started. So here I am in the project file and you can see I have a bunch of different comps here uh, of various effects I've been experimenting with. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and create a new project for this tutorial and we're going to create a new composition. I'm doing 1920 by 1080, 10 seconds long, 30 frame rate. Uh, you can you can name it if you want. I never name my comps anymore because it actually confuses me more than just numbered comps. Um, so let's go ahead and do this. And the first thing we want to do is create some sort of path. So I had a friend who does animation actually teach me this effect and he taught me how to do it via a swirl. Now, I'm going to be getting into doing different shapes later on, but I found that starting with the swirl is actually really good because you can set up things uh, really easily and delete parts of the path to create different arcs and things. So click the pen tool and we're going to go ahead and create a swirl. So start off on the left side, click, go somewhere in the top, click and drag, and just try to create your best swirl. Now it might be pretty difficult at first, it takes some time, but you can always make adjustments. So keep that in mind. Um, I'm going to try to make it as good as possible first go. Okay, so there is my first swirl. Now, it's not the best, but if we come in and maybe get the uh, title action, uh, we want the last point to be in the middle and then make adjustments based on that. So we'll move this one out. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. I think that's a decent enough swirl. And now we can go ahead and get with the effects. So. Let's go to our shape layer. Let's open that up to contents, shape, and stroke. Now, you'll notice I already have just a white stroke, no fill. Um, if you have a fill, be sure to go up to fill. And you should have an option to just click none with a strike through it. A mine option is already obviously none, so I don't have that. But make sure you don't have a fill, and then the stroke can be whatever. I have it as white. Um, and it's size 12, but we'll change that here as well. So actually, let's do that first. Let's just increase the size. Um, we'll go close to 200, I'm at like 194. And you can make the animation of this as long as you want. Obviously it has to be fairly quick. So in the two to four second range is ideal. I'm gonna go ahead for two seconds. And so I'm gonna move my, actually at zero, I'm gonna come and click the stopwatch to add a keyframe. Then I'm gonna go to two seconds and decrease the stroke width. Um, maybe we just do 15 there. Um, and as you can see, it just gets thinner. Go to butt cap and change that to round cap. And then we should be all right for, or we should be all right with those settings. We have to go to taper next. And you just want to bump some of these up. So the start length will bump up a bit to maybe 33. End length will bump up a bit to maybe 20. Um, the start ease will bump up to maybe 25. And then end ease will bump to 20. Uh, so you can see we got a, a little bit more of an interesting shape in our swirl. Then we can close the taper. We're done with that. By the way, you can come back and change the settings of all these whenever to get a look you like. Let's go to wave. Amount will go to about 50%, somewhere close. And then wavelength, we want to jack up to maybe 300. Cool. Uh, again, you can come back and change those settings if you wish. I'm happy with how the stroke is. I actually, I'm going to change the color instead of the white. I'm going to go to libraries and make this, uh, we'll make it blue. Um, so th these four colors are a part of my color scheme and are the colors I'm going to be using. 
uh, just an FYI. So uh, I will actually show you the hex codes for these. So the blue is 42CDFF. Um, but let's go ahead, close the stroke then, go to keyframe zero, go to add, and let's trim the path. So let's go ahead and open this up. And at keyframe zero, we wanna hit the stopwatch on the start and end. And for the end, we wanna bump that down to zero. And we also wanna to go to our two second mark or our end mark and bump them both to 100. Now you won't be able to see anything now because they both cancel each other out. So we have to go to the start and bring that keyframe forward a bit. And now what we should get is our effect going along the line, which it sort of does. And this will change the length of it depending where you move this. So if I move it closer to the end, the longer our flame is gonna be. So I want it somewhere close to the middle I think this is all right. It may be slightly too big, maybe we drag it back. Uh, but again, we can come back and change it and we're gonna be adding some easy ease and things like that, which will change the length. So we'll have to come back to address that then. Um, but let's close that for now, open up um, the add and add a wiggle path. Open that up and the size for this we wanna make is about 50 and then we wanna go to 70 on the detail. And you can see we get this wicked kind of spiky looking thing, which in its own is pretty interesting, but we want it to be smooth instead of round or instead of spiky. And you can see we get this sort of effect going on. And right now it looks like a bit of a smoke trail. Uh, it's pretty cool, looks pretty interesting. Um, one last thing that we should do here is go back to our stroke and add a dash. Um, and we can click that again to get a gap and just increase the gap to spread these out a little bit. So let's actually set this to maybe 200 here at the beginning. Click the stopwatch and let's go midway and bump it down to 30-ish maybe. I think that should be good. Yeah, I'm liking how that, that looks right now. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. I think I'm happy with that. Uh, again, feel free to adjust, but that's pretty good. Let's hop out of that and go to our effects and we're gonna add a turbulence. So let's do a turbulence displace. Add that, go to keyframe zero, and we can make this about 75, and then again, uh, click the stopwatch to add a keyframe, go about midway, and bump this down to 15 or something like that. And let's see how that looks. Yeah, I think that's looking pretty interesting. I think we can actually start off a bit bigger. Um, so if we actually press U on the keyboard, we can bring up all the keyframes we have. And I wanna go to the st um, stroke width at the beginning. And maybe we go up to about 300. And let's see what that looks like. Yeah, that's about the size I'm going for. And you can see that's pretty, pretty smooth throughout, looking pretty good. Yeah, I think I'm happy with that. So let's go ahead, select uh, our end key, uh, keyframes here, um, except the turbulence displace, it's just these three. And we're gonna right click on them, keyframe assistant, uh, easy ease, go to the graph and grab the yellow anchor point and just bring it in a little bit. And that should give us the correct speed kind of finishing that out. Cool, um, let's select the beginning points of those three and we'll just easy out them. And I think we should be good to go with these then. So you can see how after doing that, the size changed. So we could come back and adjust the starting point here to make it a little bit bigger. And I think something like that looks slightly better. But I'm pretty happy with that, that's our shape done and that's basically the effect guys obviously you can see i was wearing different clothes when i recorded this because i recorded the full animation tutorial um, but i decided that i didn't want to release that full thing i wanted to just cover the effect and then cover the full animation later on so i hope you enjoyed this effect i hope you guys can use it for some cool stuff if you enjoyed though please leave a like on the video again at 100 likes you can download the project file with the transition and intro or you can download it now as a five dollar tier member on my patreon also be sure to subscribe because you don't want to miss out on the next tutorial covering this effect or just my other tutorials in general that you might want to learn from uh, but thank you guys for watching be sure to follow me on twitter at quezzy and my instagram is that's quezzy thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one peace
Thank you.